Hello everybody, uh, hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. We'll continue with our life science lesson of chapter 4, lesson 4, changes in ecosystem. Please have your books with you so you can take notes and prepare questions. So coming from uh, changes, different kind of changes that happen in ecosystem, uh, whether those changes are quick changes or they are gradual, gradual changes uh, they might have an effect on the ecosystem and how actually then things recover now the gradual re replacement the replacement which takes time uh, uh, of one community by another is called succession the gradual replacement of one community by another is called succession now this process uh, of uh, succession can actually occur as a result of life functions of plants and animals for example trees they can grow taller and spread uh, their branches for long and they can shade locations that were on uh, for example on a sunny day and plants that have required sunlight can no longer thrive in the area they can block the light and the plants that are not that much short they can have problems now when succession occurs uh, where a community previously existed it is called a secondary succession so remember if uh, you can remember from your previous grades we took about primary succession and secondary succession remember primary succession is a succession which starts with almost a barren land a, a piece of rock where there is no life for example there was uh, an ecosystem but it was destroyed maybe let us say with volcanic eruption and then it became a barren land with or a barren piece of rock land rocky land there was no uh, signs of life but slowly life started there so that's a primary succession but on the other hand if there is a community or ecosystem there and let us say just fire burns or there's another diff change which did not completely change that community there is still uh, trees and plants there but maybe just a little bit affected not completely affected so that's a secondary succession the succession in which there is some la plant life already there but in a primary succession nothing is there it's almost a rocky land bare rock and then the life starts over there so coming to the primary succession uh, it occurs in an area where there is no existing community so sometimes new land is uh, formed uh, as I told you from volcanic eruption the island uh, can uh, have in the beginning bare rocks there is no sign of life and then slowly what happens that the pioneer community comes over there the, the pioneer community are those non vascular plants lichens or moss okay they do not need they don't grow taller they are non vascular they m mostly live in damp places in wet places absorbing the water like a sponge and as they decompose as they decompose there's a layer of soil created as these lichens and moss decompose with time they reproduce and decompose the life cycle keeps on going this creates the soil which as we say the decomposers provide the nutrients to the soil so this soil slowly and slowly gets the, the barren rock uh, changes into uh, the soil type which is full of uh, let us say full of nutrients and slowly and slowly over time uh, other characteristics things happen there plants starts to grow uh, you have uh, 
different kind of you know seeds can fall over there and the uh, insects can come there birds uh, by you know slowly slowly is if there are insects birds will come so just as the first people who settled in an area that built towns right pioneer species are those which establish a new community so pioneer community actually are, is there are those species which establish the new community so over time pioneer community it becomes more established and then it takes on particular uh, characteristics then uh, the area may become a deciduous forest as time goes on you see that even then the small plants or the shrubs they will decompose more soil will be produced more fertile land will be produced and then it continuously you can see many trees start to grow there and this is the stage when what we say that it's now a climax community okay this is when the community has stabilized uh, and succession has slowed down or almost stopped you could say then it is called a climax community the place where now it's ready it's completely like a forest now now this can take years or even uh, centuries to reach this point uh, legends and our pioneer communities as, as i told you are the first uh, species or the primary the beginning beginning species who will establish the new community and they are mostly non-vascular small plants that grow on those barren rocks uh, and they decompose with time creating layer of soil and then it changes with the passage of time now as i told you it can take years even centuries to reach this point of this forest it's not easy that it doesn't happen in a little time it takes a lot of time okay trees may be caught storms or floods may wash away coastlines or other environmental changes may also occur but since there is plant life available that would come as a secondary succession not a primary primary one as we said that it's a succession in which everything starts from the beginning from the zero now the process of succession can also be uh, observed in uh, it, it, it can be observed in different uh, ecosystems for example a pond ecosystem a pond slowly fills with sediment and fallen leaves then grass becomes uh, established and then eventually slowly slowly things can start uh, as I told you the decomposers work on those uh, plants and the pond continuously is filled with area that can eventually become dry land so secondary succession uh, is different from primary succession in this way is that secondary succession occurs when there is some plant life already available there maybe a natural disaster such as let us say i told you forest fire happened and it did not destroy everything there is plant life the, the, the forest did not completely became a barren rock there is roots and other plants still available there so a rain will just help over to uh, become okay again that ecosystem or that community can become okay again so although it may seem as if the fire has ripped out community naturally occurring forest fires can actually help in ecosystem now forest fires clear out old uh, growth that has prevented new plants from becoming established so sometimes uh, natural fires are important for some uh, let us say like the savannas where the grass becomes dry and yellow and new grass cannot grow so naturally fire erupts there and then uh, which burns the upper layer of the grass but the roots are quite strong so nothing happens to the roots so after when the dry grass is burnt from above uh, new grass uh, they are able to grow it with a fresh green grass so that was the lesson for today we had the uh, succession today uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully this helped if there is any question please feel free to ask